So, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Fortnite optimization. Now, as you know, the new season Myths and Models just came yesterday. So, I'm gonna show you how to reduce your input delay and maximize your FPS. So, without wasting any time, let's get into it. So, first things first, you have to open your game mode settings from here and make sure your game mode is turned on. Okay, next thing is you have to make sure your Xbox game bar is turned off here. Okay, once these two are okay, then go to the graphic settings. Here, you have to click on this, change default graphic settings and make sure your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on. Once it is on, come back here to graphics and make sure you add Fortnite here. Okay, so you can just add the game from browse and make sure this is set to high performance. Okay, now we have to delete some temporary files and uh, for that we have to press windows plus r here and then type three commands the first one is percentage temp percentage so then click uh, select all the files delete these files okay permanently delete these files okay click on this and then skip so these files won't get deleted now the second folder is just temp okay without the percentages so delete these and lastly we have prefetch this is the command prefetch okay so click on continue and then delete everything here so after you do these three steps then we have to make sure that there is nothing on your startup okay so open task manager then this is your startup section make sure everything is disabled here if something is very important like you need it like this one okay voice meter then you can enable this but i recommend to disable everything all right then after that if you are using discord you need to make sure your hardware acceleration in discord is turned off just open settings then go to advanced tab make sure this thing is turned off it, uh, it will ask for a restart so restart your discord and yes that's it so then this part is for the nvidia players like the uh, people who have nvidia gpu so make sure your graphics driver is updated first then open your nvidia control panel here in your control panel here select use the advanced 3d image settings and click on take me there okay now firstly select this high performance nvidia processor your dedicated gpu then copy everything here okay pause the video and copy everything from here okay once you do this save this things and then click on program settings here and then add fortnite from here and then after you add fortnite from here click on use global setting high performance nvidia processor this is the global setting that you just applied so apply this on your game okay so after you do this you're good to go for the optimization pack now what is the optimization pack for the optimization pack you need to join my discord server and once you join my discord server under the important section there is a channel called file links so here you will get the latest fortnite optimization pack this is the chapter 5 season 2 optimization pack so just download this continue to download and i'll download it on my desktop so here is the pack okay oh perfect. yes here is the pack so uh first you have to extract it with winrar or any archiver so if you don't have winrar you can download it like winrar download it's really simple so just drag and drop this thing on your desktop then uh, you have to open this now see here we have nine steps in total so without wasting any time this are some uh, bios commands so just open all of these at once okay press any key 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 done registry tweaks so these are some registry editor tweaks okay done so these two steps are done now the for the third one this is called power tweaks now see here in uh, the power plan just first check if you have a high performance power plan or not if you don't if you have balanced or some custom plan like this then make sure you import this plan okay this is the adam access power plan and this is a high performance plan so if you i have a high performance plan so i'm not adding it but if you don't just add it and then select that plan from this power plans okay 
the third step is disable power throttling so make sure you do this and after that head over to cache cleanup now this cleans your c drive your main drive so just delete everything like the temporary files and everything from here okay so clean uh, system files and click on okay it will take some time and every like junk file will be clean so here uh, see, click on okay then delete these files and it will again take some time so okay, we are done with this part now let's head over to the performance boost now this increases your performance pc performance to like 30 percent okay so first of all click on this adjust for best performance and then just select these two this one and this one so thumbnails instead of icons and edges of screen fonts okay click on apply and okay so after that make sure uh, you apply these epic games commands where i'll show you so these are the commands wait yes these are the commands just copy these and open your epic games launcher now here uh, click on these three dots and then go to uh, manage so from manage make sure you paste these here and make sure this is enabled okay so once you are done with this step then I head over to the Fortnite priority. Now always select Fortnite to high priority. Then uh, click OK. Then uh, we have these two more steps left. This is the game config file. Now see, this is the most important thing. So make sure you just uh, see this carefully. So what you will do is select, uh, if you have a low end PC, like without graphics card, I'll suggest you to select this. If you have a laptop or a medium PC, okay, I'll suggest you to select this. And if you have a God level PC, like a overkill PC, then you can select this. Now uh, I have a laptop, so I'm selecting this medium settings. So, and I also have a graphics card. So I need to copy this. Okay, copy this file first, then uh, go like search here, this percentage, uh, local app data percentage okay this now once you go here click on f click f on your keyboard and here you will see fortnite game click on this saved config windows client and here you will find the game user settings so make sure you apply this setting here like control plus v and replace the file in the destination you can back up that previous file too but i'm not doing this uh now here you have to open with notepad okay now once you open this with notepad here wait here make sure you find your resolution uh, which resolution you want here okay so the resolution part is right here okay so see this is the resolution one two and three so there are three parts where you need to change the resolution okay so if you want to play in this default resolution I, I would suggest yes but if you want your monitor's resolution then select that which i will do here 1980 1080 okay i'll change this uh, here and here and here so see once i'm done i'll click on Control plus s i'll save this thing okay and if you want to play with that resolution only the default resolution that was given in this file then make sure you go to properties and click on read only okay so uh, i'm not doing that just yet so after you finish all of this make sure you again go to that this folder okay where these optimization files were and now we have the last folder here which is timer resolution now this reduces your input delay so i would suggest is uh, like copy this thing and paste it to your desktop or taskbar anywhere okay so before turning your game on click on maximum and then just yes just minimize this okay so we'll get minimum input delay now i will just turn on the game and show you the in-game settings okay so here go to settings once you open your game just click on full screen 1080p your resolution okay then uh, just see if your uh, monitor is 60 hertz like this i would suggest you select this 120 if you have 120 se select 144 like select one uh, hertz above your uh, uh, this refresh rate limit so i have 165 I'll, I'll be selecting 180 or maybe 200 okay so i'll click on apply so yes now uh, once you do these just come here go to brightness i like my game at 150 brightness so i am i will do this 3d resolution now if you're still getting less fps i'd suggest turn this up to 
like how much does it go yeah till 75 don't go below 75 the game will look bad and the view distance i like my game at medium you can do near okay and meshes also high you can do low bus and don't change anything else all right you can click on this show fps enable okay yes so everything is okay now click on apply and yes so you're done for this video today that was all for the video so if this guide has helped you then make sure you hit that like button and if you're new to my channel then subscribe all my socials are in the, uh, given in the description you can check them out that's all for this video peace